Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Before I get into it, let me start by saying Happy St. Patrick's Day. And um, I know it doesn't look like I'm wearing green right now, but I actually am. See, if you, I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you look really closely there, I do have a little bit of green uh, stripes on my shirt. So, uh, like, um, I was looking this morning for a green t-shirt. I couldn't find one anywhere. I don't. I didn't know that they were in the laundry. I looked in the laundry. I couldn't find it anywhere. So, but luckily, I was saved a little bit. But anyways, uh, uh, let's get into it. So, um, welcome to my after I saw a video on Love Simon. Now, Love Simon was a film I was actually curious about. The trailer uh, was actually pretty interesting. I was curious to know what would happen in this film. I mean, it's no. It's about a guy. Well, okay. So let me get into the plot. It's about it's about this guy named Simon, and uh, he has pretty much the best life he could ever have. He has a, a caring family, um, great friends, uh, really close friends that he's known. Uh, one of them he's known for years. Although he has a secret, and that is that he is gay. And when this new kid, or this, not kid, uh, this new guy comes around and uh, admits that he's gay, uh, nobody has seen him, knows what he is, um, Simon just calls him Blue. And uh, he basically talks with him and messages him on the internet and um, talks to him about certain things about, his, about him and uh, his life and stuff like that. And he is trying to figure out if he should admit to the world um, who he truly is. And it becomes a bit of a struggle for him because he's been gay for quite a while and uh, nobody, nobody knows about it. Now, you're probably wondering why I saw this instead of the new Tomb Raider film this weekend. Well, I wanted to support this film, you know. Um, I mean, like I said before, I keep repeating myself. I am going to see Tomb Raider this Monday, so I'm just going to stop right there. But anyways, uh, and I'm not going to lie, I had a great time with this movie. This was a big, massive surprise. I had, this was, this film just blew me away of how well told it was. It basically, like, like really, this was a, this was both a heartfelt and it doesn't have your average, like, teenager movie cliches or stuff like that. It's not like a stupid uh, teenage movies like we've seen a lot recently. But no, this was a really well-told teenage uh, love story. And it shows that it's you can come clean to who you truly are. Just, you can truly admit who you truly are inside and... People will take you for it, and that's what I really like about this movie. It has, it has its story well told, and its characters, uh, very well. Uh, the relationships with Simon and his friends and his family it is very touching and very. It has very good chemistry, and I am speechless right now. I did not expect enjoying this movie so much. Is it a perfect movie? No, it is not. Like, there's this one character, which I'm not the only person with this problem, but there's this, like, this this bully-type character that didn't really fit in with the movie. Like, he didn't really develop a whole lot. Sometimes he didn't really feel like a bully. He felt more like a... I don't know, an annoying jerk or something like that. But, uh, that's pretty much, like, my only main gripe of the film. Like, uh... But yeah, like there was certain, um, but certain parts of the film I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of. But after experiencing it, I was like, "Wow, I can't believe they actually did that!" Like this movie just really blew my expectations away. And I can say, um, if you want my opinion on the gay community, I support it. You know, um, um, I think. Uh, Yeah, you know, um, but, uh, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry, I just don't really know what to say here. I mean, I support gay people, I don't have a problem with them, I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable near them, I am, 
as soon as I've grown, I've come to really appreciate the gay community. I mean, I, I, I'm not gay, but uh, I just want to say it out. I I support um I support the gay community. All right, and walking out of this film all the way up to the end credits, I was super satisfied. So overall, Love Simon has really good chemistry and characters. Main character in particular, um, I forgot what his name was. Uh, um, who played uh, Simon? Let me. Uh, uh, he's supposed to be like famous. What's his name? Uh, Nick Robinson. Oh yeah, he does a phenomenal job, and I think it might have been in some other movies. Um, I don't. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look it up. But he did a phenomenal job, and uh, from beginning to end, it's pretty much what. I was hoping for it to be, and even better than that, and for the most part, I had a great time with this film. I could even go as far to say it, it's one of the best of the year. Like, I can go as far as saying that. Like, man, was this good or what? So overall, I'm going to give Love, Simon a 4.5 out of 5. Like I said, not a perfect movie, like that one flaw that I had, but uh, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, happy St. Patrick's Day, Monday. Finally going to see Tomb Raider for you guys. And I still kind of want to see that film, so yeah, I've already planned it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.